how to accept upi payments hi guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be telling you how you can accept upi payments so having said that let's just jump into it so first things first what you're going to do is you're going to sign into your uh wordpress website over here so to do that you're going to add like a uh you know backslash wp hyphen admin all right slash and then just simply hit enter and it's going to give you this sign up page all right just simply log in over here just you know login page log into your wordpress website and boom you're over here into the dashboard now once we're over here what we need to do is we need to you know go over here onto the left side you will have a bunch of different options what you're going to need to do is you're going to go into the plugin section over here and hit add new plugin once we do that it's going to take us over here into the plugin store and over here what we're going to do is we're going to search for a plugin called upi we'll search for upi all right and it's going to give us a lot of different options over here and this is the plugin that we're gonna install which is called upi qr code payments so just simply you know click on install wait for a couple of seconds for it to be installed and once it's installed just simply click on activate all right so once it's activated you're good to go just you know find that plugin over here into the plugin store over here as you can see upi we'll click on settings over here and it'll take us over to the settings for this upi so over here in general here what we're gonna do is since upi only works in india so for that one you're gonna have to you know change your currency to indian rupees right over here to inr over here indian rupees just simply click on indian rupees and you're good to go over here you will have all of your states over here let me just go with india right india just search for anything india punjab here we go and once everything is done you're good to go just simply click on save changes all right and it should definitely work with this currency now so over here you have a bunch of different options so you have your products over here just simply enter in the shop page over here or we'll choose home and then you have your placeholder image measurements and everything click on save changes remember guys whenever you make a change always hit save so that it is always saved so that it doesn't get lost you know for example if you lose your internet connection or your pc shuts down or whatever your changes would have been saved then you have your shipping over here here you will add in the shipping address over here if you want so it all depends on you and then you have your payments so over here in payment section as you can see you have a bunch of different options so you have qr code you have cash on delivery you have check payments and you have direct bank transfer so you can do that as well or you can even install stripe as well it all depends on you so i'm gonna go ahead and you know turn these on and then you can set them up as well so first let me just hit save for one second and then i'm gonna go into as you can see click on manage all right i'm gonna click on manage for the uh, direct bank transfer and then over here as you can see we have our title over here we have our description and then we have our account details over here you can add different accounts you know account name account number bank name ifs iban number bic or swift number whatever it is and once you've added that you're good to go and the same thing you will have to do with the uh, payment system over here you know in the back or paypal or others you know like check payments or cash on delivery you'll have to do all of those things as well so once that's done you have your account and privacy over here you get all your settings for your account activity you know you have your emails over here the next thing you can add in different emails for different you know uh reasons so you have email for new order cancel order you know order on hold processing you know these first are going to be for you for the recipients not for the customer and then if you are processing order complete order refund and all of these new accounts these are all going to be for the uh, customer as well and then you have new products for dokan and dokan new pending product this is for you product published this is going to be for the vendors and then at that bottom these are going to be for the vendors as well so as you can see it's very very well thought out you don't have to do a lot of configuration just add in some basic information then you have your integration so basically if you want to utilize geolocation lookups or other things then you can do that by here just enter in your mix mind license key over here you can find that over here in this location and just simply click on save changes and you're done and then you have your advanced settings over here you have your advanced setting as i said before you can leave it at that but once everything is done you're good to go so let me just go into the payment sections over here and over here into the ur code let me just click on manage 
you know, see the UPI managed code. Over here, you will have your basic settings for UPI QR code. So over here is going to be the title. Over here, it's going to be the description. And then you have your instruction, your mobile instruction, your confirmation message, your thank you message, then payments status over here, your email, right? Let me just do a little bit of some of these, you know, get these mistakes out of the way real quick. There we go. Okay, everything is done. Yeah, everything looks good now. And then you have your, you know, payment success status. It's on hold, pending payment processing, whatever. Your store or your shop name, your merchant, UPI, pay now button, pop-up theme, everything over here. And then simply click on save changes and you're good to go. And that's basically it. Now, if you didn't want to have UPI payments, what you can do is you can go back into the uh, plugin store over here. Let me just find it. Here we go going to add new plugins and over here just simply search for payments and you will have a bunch of different options as well so if you didn't want to use you know upi then you can use like woocommerce stripe all right you have your payment plugins for stripe woocommerce you have your paypal plugin uh you have all these different types of you know plugins that you can use from and they're all really good you even have this Forminator contact form payment form and custom form builder so let me just show you how this one works just wait a couple of seconds for it to be installed and then you can go ahead and activate it and boom there you go now it's installed now we just go ahead and go activate it and if once it's activated we'll go ahead and get into the settings of it now we activated it now let's go ahead and find it so it should be over here as you can see this is it if we go into the settings for this plugin forminator as you can see we have over here the number of forms use the number of forms on your dashboard we can see it over here we have the status is over here it's published and stuff like that so we have the header over here this is for the email address all right this is going to be the no reply so that whatever someone you know gets the email from this plugin they will realize that they don't have to you know uh, apply it they don't they will realize that they don't actually have to reply it because it's a no reply plugin and uh, over here on the left side we have a bunch of different ones so we have the accessibility of it and then we have the appearance preset so over here this is going to be how it looks like all of the appearance all right so this is the design style this is going to be the default this is going to be the flat one the bold the material the non it all depends on you i, I think the bold one would look good this is going to be the placeholder this is going to be the text over here and this is going to be the button so it's all really really fine and really really simple you can do a lot of things as well so it even has a custom css so if you have a css code that you want to implement over here then you can enable it and then you can implement your custom code over here as well so it's really nice it's really good and at the bottom you have your payment settings over here as you can see you have two options you have either stripe or pay PayPal. just simply connect your stripe account or your paypal account and boom that is basically it and then what you can do is if you don't like this you can go ahead and find other ones as well so as you can see there are a lot of different plugins as well so these are all the things necessary for you to know about payments and upi so i hope you guys found this video a little bit of helpful and informal and if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications and if you have any questions or problem like for example if it's not working for you or you have some other errors as well then let me know in the comment sections down below guys i'll be sure to help you out any way i can so thank you guys for watching and until next time take care and goodbye